All right, it's July here in Oak Island and it's hot. It's too hot to be in the sun. <laughs> and it's too hot for the fish. They don't really want to bite. The bite has slowed. And, but if you want to fish the beach, you can find the fish. But you have to understand how the waves work. If you understand how the waves work, you can understand where you can put your bait to catch the type of fish you want to catch. So let's look at how the waves work. And then we'll talk about four fish you can catch <laughs> on Oak Island in July. All right, let's go. All right, to understand where the fish are, you have to understand how the water works. So I'm going to start out in the deep water. Here you have the deep water and the wave is moving towards the shore. Once it reaches some structure, it hits a sandbar, it's going to form a white cap. It's going to form a wave. So once it hits a sandbar, you're going to see that wave. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a hole there or a trowel, um, an area that's deeper, the wave's going to kind of go down, subside, and then as the wave continues to move towards shore, it's eventually going to hit the shore and it's going to cause the wash where it's going to crash again and that's where the, the wave just comes right up on the shore. So to understand where the fish are, let's work backwards. Starting in the wash, you don't even think about casting there, but if you cast into the wash, you will catch pompano. They will be in those waves very close to shore. Now to catch them, you can use shrimp on a double drop rig. I have a little one I've made myself here. I've got some floats on the top and I make myself a little shrimp cocktail by putting a little fish bites on there as well. And then I've got a little bit longer one here without the floats um, and I just cast it out. And as you can see, it's very effective. Look at this citation size pompano. <laughs> I wish I had a fish tank. I'd keep him. He was so adorable. I don't think I've ever caught such a small fish, so I let him go. Um, so I fished some more in the wash and I did catch a couple of pompano and finally started to get them. I haven't caught any big ones. Ones. There's a lot of these little ones in, in the surf right now, but there are some big ones being caught. Matter of fact, I was on the pier today and I saw someone who caught a really big one on a piece of live shrimp. So if you can get some live shrimp down in the, in the wash, you probably can catch a decent sized pompano. All right, let's look at the next body of water. We're working backwards, so we're going out a little bit further. We're out in the hole. If you fish in the hole between the waves, the whiting are there. They're not up in the wash. Some of the little ones are up in the wash, but the bigger ones are there. Um, and so you can just cast out. Again, I'm using the same double drop rig here with the same thing, the shrimp. It's fresh shrimp, um, but it's not live shrimp. But the, the whiting don't seem to mind. They're biting pretty steadily, I would say, right now in July. Most of them I'm getting are small. Um, my friend Mike got one today on the pier, which was about 12 inches. That was a pretty good one. But uh, this guy's a little small, so we're going to let him go and he can swim away strong. Okay, working out a little bit further now. You go past that second sandbar, especially at low tide, you're gonna catch croaker. It's weird to catch them in the surf. Whenever I catch croaker in the surf, I think to myself, I'm casting too far. Now, I don't really like croaker. I don't like to eat croaker. I will use them for bait, but as you can see here, I used one for shark fishing, and I don't even think the shark liked it because he didn't finish it up. So that brings us to the deep water. And if you want to catch sharks, they're all the way out there. Now, if you cast out to the deep water, you're going to catch sharks. You might not catch too much else. Sometimes bluefish are out there, maybe Spanish if you're using something, but not frozen shrimp, obviously. Um, this is my new pole. I got it. It's a sea striker. It cost me $35. And it's got a great give to it. Um, and so I, I decided I'd just try it out and go shark fishing with it. And this is not a very good video of me catching a shark. You can, you can see it here as I'm getting it up on the beach. It's something there down at the bottom. Look, there's a shark. He's, he's flopping around. <laughs> This one was an Atlantic sharp nose. Um, and if you don't know how to identify sharks, I've got a video for that. I'll put a link up in the top there. So that's basically it. Where's the shark? There it is. <laughs> okay, that's basically it. Fish the wash for the pompano, the holes for the whiting. Don't bother past the sandbar. You don't want croaker. And the deep water sharks, if you like sharks, go for it.